Headlines across the world reported that the State of Israel sent more than 100 warplanes over the eastern Mediterranean on a training exercise to prepare for a long-distance strike against Iran. A U.S. military official said the distance involved was roughly the same as would be involved in a possible strike on the Iranian nuclear fuel plant at Natanz in Iran. In our interviews with members of the Israeli government, we asked them to evaluate the threat from Iran and the nations surrounding Israel. First, Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu. He served as the Prime Minister of Israel from 1996 to 1999, was Israel's foreign minister in 2003, and also served as Israel's ambassador to the United Nations. He is a graduate of MIT and is the current Prime Minister of Israel. At a private briefing, here is what he told us about Iran. Uh, the militant Sunnis have bombed New York, and have bombed Washington, and have bombed uh, uh, the other targets that Al-Qaeda has bombed through from, uh, uh, from Bali to the European capitals. The militant uh, Shiites in uh, Iran are openly racing boasting that they're racing to develop uh, nuclear weapons uh, with the explicit uh, announced goal of uh, wiping Israel from the face of the earth, re-establishing the caliphate, of course under militant Shiite Iranian rule. The caliphate includes the territories from Iran to Spain. Uh, developing long-range ballistic missiles first that are targeted to every European capital and within a decade to reach the eastern coast of the American mainland. 